Welcome to Miranda's Insights India number four. And today's topic is what is self-confidence? Right now I'm in a place called Gokarna, Karnataka, India. And this is a town for pilgrims all over India. People, pilgrims, spiritual practic practitioners come and they migrate to this town here where there's lots of temples, lots of spiritual activities, all kinds of people, even Westerners, yogis and meditators will come and uh, hang out here in this very beautiful town and this very beautiful beach. So I feel very welcome here. Um, so the, the, the topic is what is self-confidence? And I've been contemplating this because I've been traveling and um, getting a little bit more confident as I learn how to deal with the situations that I face each day. And when we think about a person who is confident, self-confident, what are, what is it that that person is confident in? And who's confident? So when I think of a person who's confident, I think, okay, well, that person has developed some kind of a skill and they've become quite proficient in that particular area. Or a person who hasn't, who wasn't confident was focusing on the things that they're not good at and then they start to change and they start to um, appreciate the attributes that they do have and they start to become more confident in their own self. Um, so as I've been traveling facing many difficulties, um, and learning how to sort of really let go, um, let go of my ideas. I think that's part of the problem is that the difficulties, if I haven't included um, a difficult situation in the possibility of life, of what I might be coming across, then that will create the problem for me. So what I'm learning is that if I surrender my ego's idea of how something should be, which is quite limited, I mean, really, uh, the picture in my head is very, very limited to the reality of what life is. So it, the more I let go of those pictures and surrender into the greater um, life, the, um, the, the brilliance of life, the activity of life, I realize that I'm able to handle all the situations that come my way. So. What is, what am I confident in? Like, where's the confidence? And what I'm learning is that the more I meditate on the stillness in the midst of all the chaos, then I can have confidence in the bigger life because I am not being thrown around by the chaos of life. I'm actually focusing on that potential of life the stillness, the source, the originality of what brings everything coming into existence. So the more I focus on the stillness and I hold and, and make that the precious thing in amidst all of the transience of life, I find that I have this, this uh, ability to move through life without having any problems or any um, concern or fear because I trust and it's a, it's a confidence that's happening. So I have a confidence in the larger self. I have a confidence in the source of life that yes, it'll all be fine, it'll all be perfect because I'm able to flow with the transience of life because I'm connected with the source of life. So that's my insight and I'd like to share that with you and as a practice, a simple practice would be you go ahead and do the same thing. That, that stillness that you experience and you touch while you're in meditation, take that and bring it into your, into your life situation, the movements, the, the craziness, the chaos, the, the, the beauty, the, the transience, bring it, bring it in there. And, and but stay focused and know that whatever occurs, it's all going to change and you're always at the source. And that's 
the place of blessedness that you can be in. So that's it for today's Miranda's Insights number four, and I'll see you in the next insight. Bye for now.